We're putting in some water stuff today. So that's a pump that's going to take water from the water tank that's going to be around here and feed it out to the accumulator. Yeah. Accumulator. That's an accumulator. We were listening to music while we did this, which YouTube would have just removed. But at least that gives me an opportunity to explain what's going on. So here we were just heating up the pipe to connect it to the accumulator to let us test whether we were all watertight. So this is the feed that the pump pulls from the water tank into the accumulator, just getting that tightened up. And then an electrical cable for the pump, which we wired in back here. So starting with a full bucket of water over here and an empty bucket of water over here, we just wanted to test whether we could put pressure into the system and if it would leak. So this was a tap we stuck on the end and left closed and then it was time to... No water. Leak. Can turn off? Perhaps unsurprisingly then, the first time we tried it, we had a leak. So it was just a case of undoing it all and applying a bit of sealant tape and giving it a few more goes until we had a watertight seal. I've spared you all the attempts that we made, but this is just one of the attempts to disassemble and reassemble and ultimately... Success. I've got a job today, but doing it is making David slightly anxious. The big one at the back is glue and then this is sealant just to give us a little watertight seal at the front. We can't quite remember why now but we decided to go for quite a complicated tap with a sort of pull out end thing which means we need to fix this thing down underneath the counter. Finally, we got to a stage where we could pay somebody else to do some stuff for us. So, there's a air heater spout here. The hob is wired in and plugged into the gas. The gas tap's coming up here and a vent that's been installed. And then round here, another air heater vent, which will come out on the front here somewhere. We need to shorten that. And then we've got the water system. So the big gray pipe at the back here lets you fill the water tank and the little pipe just means that air can escape. So that's all trapped in 
And then this is a little thing that just has probes that drop into the water. Tell you how much is in there. Blue pipe up to the pump. And that's turned on. That comes along here to this accumulator. Just make sure that the water flow is kind of regulated. And then we've got this T off here. That'll take cold water into here. And then this is a water heater underneath. And then the red pipe can bring hot water back out. Back up into the tap. At some point we'll also plumb in the shower. And then this thing down here lets you pull out the tap. This internal vent here sucks in air for the heater. Comes out down the front there. And then under here we can fill up the gas and that red one is a little output we can use to connect a barbecue. And then wastewater, you might not even be able to see it, but there's a pipe down here that drops wastewater out. And we can also roll a little tank under there to catch it. And to control all this, water pump, water tank depth test, water heater controls, gas supply, and a thermostat for the heater. For the kitchen tiles, we think we'll get a better finish if we tile onto a bit of ply. <laughs> Appears we lost most of the contents of the complete tiling kit. Craig Phillips and welcome to my tiling trade tips where I'm going to be revealing my top DIY secrets to help you save money and time. Yeah? Yeah, it feels like it. And that is the top half of the kitchen. Finished. <laughs>